UNO driver here in Phoenix, Arizona. How's everybody doing out there on a Saturday morning at 6.38 a.m.? Yep, it's Saturday, June 22nd. And uh, today I want to talk about California. I want to talk about the AB5 bill that uh, is in place. Um, I have another video. I want you to take a look at this video. Um, California is just, it's, it's, it's really bad in California right now. Uh, they're trying to pass a bill. It's called AB5. And uh, take a look at this video. Tell me what you think. Good evening. I'm Juliet Goodrich. And I'm Brian Hackney. Uber and Lyft are trying to stop a proposed state law that officially defines its drivers as employees. And KPX5 reporter Melissa Kane learned the companies are using some questionable tactics to try to get its drivers on board. There's a bill called AB5 that would require companies like Uber and Lyft to treat their drivers like employees. And that means providing workers comp, paid time off, and minimum wages. But now we're learning that these companies are going through the apps that they use to interface with their drivers to try to get the drivers to sign a petition opposing AB5. What happened in the morning today, actually yesterday, when I press to go with Uber, I get a notification and it, the notification says protect drivers flexibility. Notifications on the Uber and Lyft apps for drivers are usually reserved for important messages about money or safety, says Al Alaudi, who drives for both companies. It shows here recent changes to California law could threaten your access to the flexibility work. A click through leads to another page with several paragraphs, and at the bottom, employees are encouraged to make their voice heard, although it does contain text provided by the company that employees can edit or add to before the message goes to state lawmakers. Lyft's notification section has a similar plea, asking drivers to oppose being classified as employees. Alaudi says he signed the Lyft petition by mistake. I just realized I did something wrong. I took the action. I wasn't reading everything. He says other drivers with limited English might not realize what they're signing, and they may just fill it out because it comes from the company. We reached out to Uber and Lyft with questions about these notices. Uber didn't respond. Lyft did give us a statement saying, in part, we sent communications to California drivers about this important issue that has the potential to significantly impact their work with Lyft. Decision. And Lyft did confirm that they know which Decision. drivers signed the petition. If the drivers become employees, the companies would probably decide to put them on schedules, decreasing the driver's flexibility. You see the flexibility, it's, I don't know what are they talking about, but we are still, we have to work like in certain time to make money. Otherwise, you're not going to make money. Rashid Alsanea says the downward creep of his pay means he has no choice about when to work or even where, since the app shows the driver where to go to make money. Now, as for AB5, it has already been voted on in the state assembly, where it passed overwhelmingly, and it's now working its way through the state senate. In San Francisco, Melissa Kane, KPIX. UNO driver here, back from the video. What did you think about that? AB5, a bill that uh, Uber drivers, Lyft drivers want them to sign uh, so that way they could be uh, employed drivers in California. Not me. I'm good. I do not want to be employed. I do not want a boss. I do not want a schedule. I'm happy being my own boss, working my own times. Uh, I do very good um, out here in the Valley of Phoenix. But no, it's not for me. That AB5, I mean, whatever they're doing in California is just ridiculous. Um, it's, it's, it's just all bad. But what happens is that if they do pass this bill or whatever that's going on in California is going to reflect to all the other states around. California starts it. That's where uh, Uber and Lyft main offices in San Francisco. But uh, not for me. It's not for me. I love being an independent contractor. I love being my own boss. Uh, it might be for some other drivers out there. They need that structure. Maybe they, you know, if they if they become employed, you know, they need the structure. They need somebody to tell them to go to work or, you know, this and that. But not me. I, I just don't need that. Um, had a really good day here in, uh, on, in Phoenix. 
Saturday morning, uh, did pretty good, uh, cutting out early because I did good, but I think I will be back on later, not too sure yet, but I might be back on later around 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon, we'll see what happens then, but other than that, you know what's coming next, oh yeah, you know what's coming next, peace out. Ha <laughs> ha